everybody! Welcome to Friendly Crochet Creations here and Ginger is over here on my left hand side. She's saying hi to she come to say hi to mommy and everybody. But anyways, I just wanted to pop in and and um see how y'all's fourth was doing. Um did y'all have a great fourth? I really didn't do much, I just crocheted and stuff like that. And I heard the fireworks from here. I mean I've seen fireworks, but maybe next year I'll do something, you know, but um, I didn't do anything this time. Um, I didn't even do the downtown thing, you know, because I didn't know exactly sure how that worked. Um, I didn't find my, my number and time to, to call, you know, to see what's going on or whatever. Anyways, I didn't do all that. But look at what I found. Have y'all ever seen these? You know, I've been wanting to do balloons for a long time. We'll do water balloons. I'm like, I wonder if those really work. And somebody posted on Facebook, say, hey, you know, you should make some of these. And they were just a regular water balloons, okay? And every time I looked at something on Etsy that it was for sale. And so I went over to Ravelry, right? And everything was for sale except for these. These right here. These fishy ones. You see that has the little fin on here? The little fin. It's not just a regular balloon at the bottom. It's a fin. So these are little fishies. This pattern is free on Ravelry. So all I put in was crochet water bottles. And I think these were like the last or the next to the last in the list on Ravelry. And all you have to do is go over there and download the PDF. And there it is. Just as plain as day. Now it calls for an 8 millimeter hook. So I'm pretty sure these fish would have been bigger. But the only size... Sorry. The largest size I had at the time was a six and a half, and you know that's a K, right? So I did this with a K or a six and a half. Uh, I can't remember. I don't know what number that is. You know, like ten, eleven, or whatever. Um, but the six and a half K, I did these, right? So I made a, a whole skein of these, made thirteen, fourteen. 14 and then I had part of a one left. This was number 15. You see you didn't quite make it. I was on the first decrease round on that one and it didn't make it quite around to to my last stitch here. So I did one, five, I just needed three more of those um, to make eight. And I guess that's all for now. I mean I've been working like crazy on things. I sold all my chicks today except for one. One! I gave one away during this week, right? And I sold five. So I have one left. And I did not sell any baskets, but I did give one away during the week too with the chick, right? So I did that. I sold five chicks today. Four to one group. So another chick. And I sold three little round scrubbies that you can use in the kitchen. Uh, she said she was going to use it for her washing machine. I mean, you can even, you know, use it on yourself unless it's too uh, rough for you, right? So, she, anyway, she's going to use those in the kitchen in her laundry room. And um, I was selling them for $2 each. So, she gave me five for the first two. She didn't want her dollar back. And then she gave me two for the last one because I only had three. And I do have um, more, you know, scrubby um, yarn to make those with. And... And sell those, make those and sell those. But um, I have some good news. I got a job. I had an interview yesterday, and, and I hate taking jobs. It used to be like at least a five year stretch. It's not even that anymore. It's like two years, maybe. I'm like, what's going on with these people? Come on, you guys. I'm better than that. You know that. And yeah, maybe that's the problem. It shouldn't be a problem, but you know, maybe that's the problem. But. They shouldn't be. But anyways, okay, so I did that. So I didn't sell a whole bunch, but I just sold my chicks. And I sold all, out all my scrubbies, uh, those three. Um, and then I made six of these, but I didn't sell any of these right yet because I didn't have anything to demonstrate them with. And I've never used these at all. So um, you just put these in water, and they fill up like, you know, they, they have a lot of water, and they're squishy because this is Bernat baby blanket yarn okay so I got this skein and I got that skein and I think I still have some more around here at the house and I can make some more so if I'm not in training next week because I know I'm training on Tuesday next week okay 
So this is a new place that just opened up down the street. I'm all the way from the house. How cool is that, right? And so that we have training this week. And then, like I said, I don't know what I'm doing next Saturday or Sunday. So whatever. Um, I'm just going to try to go see my kids tomorrow and visit with them for a bit. And, um, yay. So anyways, I'm going to put in a short clip of my view of my section downtown and if you'll see i have i did take one of my heads down there i took joanne i did not take michael actually i took michael i just left him in the car you know he's hiding out in the car so joanne was out there posing and my new mannequin the stand-up mannequin that didn't have a head she um she was there i named her rose b bell and sorry i didn't ask y'all about the name but it's a very special name for me for this mannequin and maybe i will explain that later and let me know if you want to know why i, I named her rose b bell but that's a, like a family thing and, and a local thing so um i want to show you these earrings too there's a local guy that works with wood and he he makes jewelry he made these and he gave me these for free and he also gave me a pair of i don't have them with me right now they're in they're in my cash box um they have a gr on there for for glenn rose you know there's a glenn rose tiger so these are the paul tiger paws and the gr for glenn rose um they're all made out of wood and so when i go back to substitute i can wear those or i can even probably wear them at 7-eleven that's where i want to be working okay shh and really spread it around a lot to to certain people and um so yeah i'll insert that clip here in a minute to to show you um rose and joanne and i did move rose to the front of the tables and then i had to move her to the other side she kept falling over after when it got windy and i took her down when i started sprinkling and i was like ah, i got worried so i took her down because i didn't know if it was going to rain and i was going to have to put everything in the back of the car um and still be sellable you know if it was still gonna just drizzle and sprinkle you know but i didn't want her to get away so after it stopped after like a couple minutes um or like five or six minutes you know i took her back out and, and put her back up and that's when i moved her to the other side it was like like very at the at the, at the end sorry oh <sighs> i moved her at the end like for the last hour because she was falling over so um but I did have her behind the tables up front, so whatever. I'm sorry, I'm repeating myself. But, um, that clip is there, and I finished another baby blanket, and I'm expecting to receive payment for another baby blanket, and I might have another order for another blanket or something, but I don't know, maybe, maybe not. But, um, anyways, that's it. Check out Ravelry for these patterns. I forgot who, who made these but um i believe there's only one pattern and if i find it if i think about it you know i'll i'll put it down below you know what her name is and everything but yeah i'll go check these out especially if you have little kids these um, i don't know why that one looks smaller than this one maybe i made this one with an extra round or something just now but anyway it looks like no this one's too short is this one the same anyways i don't know maybe i i made one too long or one too short or something but anyway there's a little fishy so anyways go check that out and um we'll see you next time hopefully y'all had a wonderful fourth and have a great weekend and the rest of your fourth if i don't you know check back with you or even if i do and um like, subscribe, and share if you if you like, and y'all have a I like great looking. Bye.